All right, well, it's Saturday and we're on the station again. This is uh, Saturday evening. We're about 800 miles off the coast of Chile. We've been here uh, since 8 o'clock this morning and we'll keep working through to midnight then move on to our next station. We had a, a large experiment and a, a large uh, number of projects going on inshore, which is the high productivity region, and now we're moving offshore where things are dropping off. So what we do now is we steam for a day, we stop for a few hours, collect some samples and data, and then we move on. And, and the purpose of this is to find, is to uh, measure the system as it evolves from a very high productivity coastal station out to the open ocean station that will eventually occupy off of Easter Island. So I've had a pretty relaxing day, or even though everyone else has been working fairly hard, because I turned over the reins as chief scientist today to Jamie Becker. And one of the things the Seymour program uh, does, aside from training the students in the lab and in the classroom, uh, we bring students out to sea and, and they get to work at all the different jobs on board ship. And one of those jobs, of course, is the chief scientist. And so for today, Jamie took over as chief scientist, got to run the ship, and he'll tell you about what that was like. Yeah, it was a, uh, it was a long day and a busy day, um, but I think overall a pretty successful day. Uh, for me, coordin coordinating the needs of 38 research scientists was certainly a challenge, and unlike anything that I've ever done before, um, and, but definitely very educational. Uh, as Dan mentioned, we've moved on from our first station. We're actually at our third station now, and we're in a much different ocean uh, than where we started. Two ways of demonstrating that, uh, if we look again at our CTD traces, you might remember Dan mentioned in the coastal station that we saw oxygen levels decrease in the surface waters uh, to zero or near zero levels. Now what we're seeing is oxygen stays pretty consistent in the, in the surface ocean. Another major difference is in chlorophyll. Our chlorophyll maximum has actually uh, gotten much deeper than in that first station. And we don't see that secondary chlorophyll maxima that we did before. Now we just see one broad, large maxima. One main reason for this is that not being in the coastal station anymore, we don't have that uh, coastal upwelling system bringing those nutrients up to the surface and allowing for all that biological growth. Since that growth isn't occurring, we're in much clearer waters than we used to. Our surface ocean is much clearer, allowing sunlight to penetrate deeper than it did before and allowing these photosynthetic organisms to still be able to live and conduct photosynthesis at a deeper depth. So yeah, we've had a lot of experiments going on at this third station and we have a few more things to finish up and then after that we'll uh, take off and start steaming toward our next station.